So we've gone over graphing points on the coordinate plane and graphing functions. Now it's time to learn how to find the slope of a line. The slope is basically the steepness of a line. The higher the slope, the steeper the function is. Simple. There are a few different ways to find the slope of a line. The easiest way is rise over run. To find out what the rise over run is, let's get out our coordinate plane. The rise is the number of units increasing in the height, or the y-axis. The run is the number of units increasing in the x-axis. The slope of the function is the ratio between the rise and the run, which means that the rise divided by the run equals the slope of the line, which is why it's called rise over run. For example, if we have this line right here on the coordinate plane, we can see the different points of the function. The rise would be 2, because for every point, it is rising 2 units, and the run would be 1, because for every point, it is moving to the right 1 unit. Since the slope is rise over run, the slope is 2 over 1, which is 2. So the slope of this line is 2. The second method is a little more complicated. The formula is y of 2 minus y of 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1. Pretty complicated, but let me explain it for you. This means that if you pick two points of a line, the y unit of the second point will subtract by the y unit of the first point. The x units do the same thing, and then you have to divide the two differences. So let's say we have this line right here. We can pick these two points of the function. On the second point, we have a y unit of 7 and an x unit of 3. On the first point, we have a y unit of 2 and an x unit of 2. Using this information, go ahead and pause the video and try to find the slope of this line using that formula. Okay, now let's go over it. y of 2 minus y of 1 equals 7 minus 2 which is 5. x of 2 minus x of 1 is 3 minus 2, which equals 1. 5 divided by 1 is 5, so the slope of this line is 5. You can use any of these two methods to find the slope, but as you get into higher grades, teachers will want you to use the second method so you can understand how it works. But other than that, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next video.